Watch you guys, the other day I created a video showing you how to slipstream Service Pack 2 and updates into your Office 2010. And I've had a lot of feedback from it, people saying that I didn't show the part on how to recreate the ISO image so they could burn it to a DVD, so they can reinstall it. So I thought I'd make a video to show you how to create an ISO image or bootable ISO image using ImageBurn, which is a free piece of software. Now ImageBurn is from imageburn.com it's a free piece of uh, software that you can use to create all your music CDs and DVDs and also uh, make ISO images and stuff like that okay and it's totally free now also you're going to need a bootable image which is what we're going to be using here and I will put the links in the description and an empty folder which is where the destination is where the folder is going to go and you can also use this method in creating Windows uh, discs after you've slipstreamed them and stuff like that okay this will be able to make any bootable ISO image by using this method okay so no matter what it is it will make the ISO bootable let's get started so let's fire up image burn now the first thing we want to do is go to create an image file from files or folders so we're going to click on that and then we're going to go to where it says source here come down and browse to that folder select the folder so now you can see it listed in there now we need to click on the destination and we're going to click done and that's the actual file name you can rename this whatever you like but I'm going to leave mine as is save next thing you want to do is go up to the advanced tab here and then click on bootable disk put the tick in the options here make image bootable and then basically we need to locate our image file so we need to browse to this on our desktop which is very convenient click open and we're pretty much good to go so now we want to click on build and this is the actual build button click build it says you have only selected one folder say yes to that and it's now come up with some settings here I couldn't help but notice that you not specified the volume label blah 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 okay it's give us this here which is fine by me I'm gonna click yes and then click OK and now it's gonna start to build that actual ISO image for us and make it bootable and I'll show you it afterwards once it's complete and we'll test it okay and it gives you a bit of a music once it's finished click OK and you can turn that music off if you wish so that's now complete so we can close this off and uh, now we've got this all finished you can look in your done folder and this is our bootable ISO image okay and if I open this up straight away with uh, ultra ISO and you can see it says bootable here okay but I can also show you by booting up to this in this virtual box so let me get that set up for you we should get the actual box popping up as you can see and that means it's now bootable and you can see it's pointing towards the actual office 2010 with service pack 2 and if I look here you'll see it's been mapped to that and it's now booted as you can see here and that that will be how it is once you put the CD in and you can just run this setup and it will start to install uh, the actual office product okay so i think we're going to call this one done and i hope this one answered all your questions if you've got any video requests then you can send me a private message in youtube or you can also leave comments and i will read those uh, comments uh, regularly and i can't answer them all but i do my best to answer as many as i can so I think that's going to be about it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button, and that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos, okay? So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.